Pre-season update time here on AFL.com.au. Let's shoot across to South Australia and Adelaide Crows headquarters. There we find Lee Gaskin, our South Australian correspondent. Lee, who's impressing on the track? Yeah, thanks, Matt. Uh, Riley Knight has had a fantastic pre-season. We didn't see much of Riley last year, but he's hit the ground running and won the club's first 2K time trial. Uh, defender Jake Kelly has also turned up in great shape and won the second time trial uh, two weeks later. Uh, Taylor Walker is also looking great. Uh, you know, the captain's always been one of the bigger forwards in the competition, but looks like he's really stacked on a couple of kilos to uh, take on the opposition's best defenders next year. OK, what about a couple of guys that you reckon could be under the pump? Uh, we'd like to see a big season out of Troy Menzel. He obviously arrived at the Crows at the 2015 trade period with some high hopes from Carlton, uh, but was, was unable to uh, crack into the Crows' best 22 in 2016, so he'll be looking for a big pre-season. Uh, Curly Hampton's also looking to make a big transition. We didn't see any games out of the GWS Giants rebounding defender, but he's looking to make a move into the midfield, so he's been increasing his running loads during the pre-season. Injury wise, Lee, not too much to worry about, hey? Yes, it's looking pretty good for the Crows. They're set to have their entire list ready for round one. Uh, look, defenders Cole Cheney and Luke Brown have been on modified programs. Both had a bit of groin soreness at the end of last season, but they're looking like they're going to be on track and ready to go. Uh, forwards Josh Jenkins and Tom Lynch both underwent the knife for uh, ankle and knee surgery, respectively. Uh, but they're good to go as well, and they'll be right. And uh, the Crows are looking really good in that, res in that respect. OK, finally, Lee, 2017, the Premiership. Can the Crows win it? Oh, Matt, you have absolutely put me on the spot here. You can't ask me that question uh, this time of year. But look, seeing that you have, I'm going to go on a limb and say they can. I think, you know, you look at the Crows and obviously they've got a, a fantastic forward line. They were the highest scoring team in the competition in 2016. They've got a back line that's pretty underrated. We saw Daniel Talia uh, return to his All-Australian best uh, last season. And with the likes of Jake Lever and Rory Laird, uh, Brody Smith running off half back. They've got a great back line as well. Now the big question about the Crows is their midfield. Uh, Rory Sloan is coming off his best season, but obviously they couldn't get Bryce Gibbs in that trade. So it's going to be up to the likes of Riley Knight, uh, Kirtley Hampton and Wayne Miller to step up and really make their mark on this young and uh, experienced Crows team. So look, I think they're a good chance, but obviously a lot of things have to fall their way for that to happen. All right, Lee, good answer. Thank you for that. We'll see you soon. Lee Gaskin joining us from South Australia. You're watching afl.com.au.